Lindsay, each score 40 36. While Judge Barbara Pettis has it 39 37. You know it's A.B. Always born. Always born. A lot of bills. You know what's going on, man. You know, uh, shout out to Crown Joe's Boxing, man. You know, uh, my people. You know, uh, they, they get it in over there. Straight up. What's good, YouTube? Crown Jewel from Crown Jewel Boxing. Back to drop another gem on him. Busy night. Busy Saturday night last night in boxing. Oh, first and foremost, <laughs> y'all see what I'm wearing? It's Eagle Sunday. And unfortunately, the victim this week is the New York Giants. I rock with my NFC East foes, but, uh, <laughs> It's just uh it's just Philly year. Best team in football by far. But with that being said, let's get back to the boxing. Debut of BLK Prime last night. Return of superstar, multi weight, former undisputed, current WBL welterweight world champion Terrence Bud Crawford. Not much to talk about there. He scored a one punch. Six round knockout over David Avenesian. I don't know who was surprised. I don't think that does anything for star power, his career. Like I said, he did what was expected of him. No disrespect to David Avenesian, but I don't think there's anybody with any type of sane mind that felt like he had a chance to win. Besides the guy I seen uh, from out of Floyd's gym out there in Vegas, I forget his name, um, but he's out of Baltimore. Dark skinned fellow with dress. He was on the Rise podcast last week talking about how he was betting 30 grand on David Avenesian. I hope you didn't do that, brother. <laughs> uh, also, Jared Anderson returned to action, scored another knockout, 13 and 0, 13 knockouts. Um, I think we get it. You know, he can beat the level of opposition easily that he's facing right now, but I think it's time to step him up a little bit. Like, he's, he's going to beat those mid level guys. Um, he seems to be the toast of the heavyweight division as far as the young American heavyweights go. And, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm uh, anxious to see them step him up in competition a little bit more and see what he has, see what happens when he gets hit back. Um, also, uh, Keyshawn Davis picked up a win last night. Um, the big story, though, is a somewhat controversial decision, split decision win by Tiafimo Lopez um, over... Sandor Martin last night um, again I thought he won I thought he, he won by a slim margin but unfortunately again he tastes the canvas um, from a guy that's not necessarily that big of a puncher um, Martin has 13 knockouts and 40 wins doesn't really lend himself to somebody that you know is an explosive puncher so um, with that to me it just echoes something that I've been saying for a long time anyway. Tiafimo Lopez never was one of the four kings. I mean, he was, he was a guy to mention prior to Shakur Stevenson arriving. But the night that Shakur Stevenson beat Jamel Herring, I said, listen, he replaced Tiafimo Lopez as one of the four kings. And um, Tiafimo Lopez was drop, dropped with a check southpaw right hook. He was hit with that punch all night long. And you can only imagine what would happen if you put him in there with a Tank Davis who has a dynamite right hook. Um, he, he would vaporize Tiafimo Lopez. So um, I feel bad for Tiafimo Lopez. He was picked up by the uh, cameras and the media um, asking his father, do I still have it um, in the ring after the fight? And um, I would say I don't think he lost anything. I wouldn't say you, do you still have it. I think, you know, is who he always was. He's uh, a tier below those superstars in that lightweight and junior welterweight division. And I think um, any of those top guys beat him. Um, that's not a knock to him. I think his huge win against Vasily Lomachenko was more of a style matchup where his style was, was, was uh, 
it was a favorable style matchup for him. His style was something, you know, his attributes are something that's difficult for Vasily Lomachenko to deal with. I still think Lomachenko is the better boxer than him, but stylistically, he just uh, presents a problem for Vasily Lomachenko with his size, athleticism, and strength. But with that being said, I think you know that was kind of that was kind of his Cinderella moment. I don't I don't think he's that level of a fighter. I don't think he competes with those guys on the top level. So um, all in all. They sold something like 30,000 tickets at the Terrence Crawford fight, so that was good. I'm still waiting to see what those BLK Prime numbers were because I don't think they will be much of nothing because the undercard wasn't something, you know, anybody was interested in. And um, like I said, Tiafimo Lopez, I think, um, further showed everybody that he doesn't deserve to be compared to the Shakur Stevenson, the Devin Haney, and um, the Tank Davises of the world. Um, he's just not in that in that conversation and you know I really don't want to hear him and his father talking trash about those guys anymore because you can't compete where you don't compare I'm sorry um, with that being said that's all I got like I said good luck good good weekend of boxing but not too many surprises you know what I mean pretty much what we expected until next time keep your hands up your chin down and your ass off the floor peace